In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change field names so that each table can make more sense to you. There are times that I connect to outside sources and make them table links inside of my database. And a lot of times when I do that, if I open up the table, you'll notice that the headers are named something that makes sense to the person that created this table and I'll have to study this table and try to understand what goes in each column and once I understand that I want to give them different names without impacting the other database that houses this table so the safest way I know is to create a new query and change the field names and this is how I do it go to the create tab click on query design and add the table you would like to change the field names in. Close down the Show Table dialog box. Add all the fields into your query pane. And let's start with test one. It looks like first name is in this column, last names are in this second column, and phone numbers are in my third column. So in test one, I'm going to open this builder up and I'm going to say first name and you add a colon. Go down to the expression elements, open up the plus sign, go to the tables and I'm going to click on test one and get rid of that default expression placeholder that Access provides for you. I'm going to go to test 2 and I'm going to rename this one last name and I'm going to do the same thing click on expression elements click on tables click on the table I want to rename the field names in grab the test 2 field name get rid of that expression default placeholder and then test three is going to be phone number. I could do it right here as well. And to save me typing, I open up the builder, grab that plus sign, grab that next plus sign, click on the table and go to test three. Click on expression default placeholder and get rid of it. And now we should have a nice query with some renamed field names. First name, last name, and phone number. Very simple. Now I can save this query and use it in anything I want, in my forms and in my reports. And it makes more sense to me and it helps me build everything faster. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to rename field names from linked database sources.